Hi YouTube, it's uh, Old Bear. Man, I've been MIA for a minute from the YouTube scene. I've been, once again, lost in Instagram land. I really need to spend more time on YouTube. It's just, man, I'm so busy. It's just hard to find time to just to take break away and do a video. It's just so much easier to post a photo to uh, Instagram. Instagram is my safe place, my comfort zone. But I need to get out of my comfort zone. I really need to make more videos. So, anyway. I'm smoking my Kelly Green Cobb. I stained this one for uh, St. Patrick's Day this year. Nothing special. Um, I'm not a pipe maker or cop modder you know I'm not doing it for money or anything basically I just uh, I got a whim and uh, ordered 20 cobs and said hey guys you guys that follow me I have a free cob here you go and I uh, gave them away because man listen when, when you have followers that are as loyal as my followers are and I'll just tell you really quickly I'm, uh, I'm smoking some Captain Earl's Night Watch. If you haven't tried this and you love Latakia like I do, you have to try Captain Earl's Night Watch. Incredible, incredible blend. Captain Earl's Night Watch is a deep, rich, full, smoky Latakia that is old fashioned crumble cake. Is the perfect blend for those quiet nights or standing night watch on the deck of a clipper ship or in the comfort of your study. Now, what I was saying, when you have followers that are as loyal as mine are, you know, every day I, I post, I post a photo, and within 10 minutes, 40, 60 likes. That might not seem like a lot to you guys, but to me, you know, I've only been in business a year. That's, that means a lot to me. In my heart, from my heart, that means something to me. If you guys would take interest in what I'm doing and you would actually like it and interact with me, so thank you. Uh, I mean, I wish I could give you everybody briar pipes. Because <laughs> I feel I would. If I could, I would. Because I want to show you guys how much I appreciate it and how much you guys are like family to me. Uh, And my viewers that are on YouTube as well. I'm just not on here that often. And I, I appreciate it. I'm drinking some uh, hot tea in my Appalachian Beard Oil Company coffee mug. Those will be for sale soon. Um, can't say when yet because they're not quite there yet, but soon. This Saturday, I'll be in. I'll, I'll be in. I'll, I will have been in business for a year. And man, <laughs> the learning curve from when I first started. You know, when I decided to go in business for myself, I was at the Dubliner here in Kansas City, which is, which is a. Which is a Irish pub, St. Patrick's Day, and I was having a having a, a Jameson, neat. And I said, you know what? I am tired of working for the man. Every day, five days a week, nine to five, and I'm going to do something for me and my family, and I'm going to start my own business. And I started the beard oil, and the reception has been great. You know, I'm not living off of it by no means, but you, in life you have to evolve. And when I started with the beard oil, it, it was never going to be the one product that I was going to have. My goal is to continue to evolve into other products that people love. 
Um, and that's what we've done. And here we are a year later. We have two solid beard oils that people love. That I'm very proud of. But I've unveiled this on the on Instagram and on Facebook a little bit. Now you're gonna to get to know what's behind door number two. So a few months ago I started planning. I've actually been dreaming for years and working towards this, but and I should have been planning this whole time and you know, had a conversation with a uh, fellow pipe guy and business owner. I won't say who because I value people's privacy. But he made me see that I was far, far, far behind. Uh, behind because uh, this is taking a lot of planning and a lot of learning for me. It's been a very, very big learning curve for me. Um, with that said, I started designing a pipe a few months ago. And the goal for me has always been to create Appalachian themed products that represents hardworking people of Appalachia. I've said it many times. Appalachia is the cradle of American civilization. If you're an American, you owe a tip of the hat or raise your glass to those mountains, man, because everything that we've evolved into, it's come from that. It's come from those pioneers and those people there that have been left behind. They have been, uh, been marginalized and they have been exploited for many years. And I wanted to do something for my people, man. I wanted to give my people a voice, you know, through my business. And I was talking to my team, my guys, and I said, I'm not even really a businessman. I'm a, if I'm anything, I'm a philanthropist. I am a philanthropist for Appalachia. I'm an advocate for my people. And all the money that, that, that we make and all the success we have, if I don't represent my people, man, it's not worth it to me. You know, and so everything I do, I do with my people in mind. And so basically what I'm doing is, is, I'm, is I'm packaging something for America. I'm saying, look, this is my people. This is my culture. These are hardworking people. This is Appalachia. This is where I come from. And I want to share that with you. So we designed a pipe. <clears throat> this is first series, which will uh, launch this year. We're going to take it really slow. Is the coal miner series. It's a tribute to coal miners. First pipe will launch May of 2016 is when it will be out. And it's a Devil Ends, and I'll post a picture at the end of the video. It's a Devil Ends. It's been modified that it sits. It's flat on the bottom. And so it's, it's a sitter. And man, uh, the prototype that we made, it's an amazing smoker. It's going to be an amazing pipe. You know, there's a lot of, and there's a lot of amazing pipes. We're not claiming to have the best pipes. We are, you know, we, we're just, we're another option for people. You know, uh, if I have to say, uh, I have to say that there's some people on uh, on YouTube that really inspired me to go for my dreams, man, and uh, they know who they are, and I just want to say I appreciate it. Thank you for uh, for speaking life and uh, positivity into the pipe community. It means a lot to me, uh, you know, and that's what this is about. You know, I was telling my guys, I said, we're not, a, we're, we're not a business first. We're, a, we're, we are members of the pipe community first. Business is second. And so, you know, 
I think that that's important. And so uh, more on the pipe. So we're going to offer them in a, a rusticated and a, uh, a smooth finish. And uh, they'll, be, they'll be live in May. And so I'll be giving you more updates as the time comes. And uh, I'll post a, li a link for our website um, in the coming videos. It's not quite yet ready yet. But, you know, I really appreciate the pipe community. And I'm speaking from my heart. This right here. This here. These pipes, this tobacco, it saved my life. Um, back in 2013, in the beginning, I was stressed. On my way, man, to an early grade, just from stress. And uh, I started smoking a pipe. And uh, just watching some videos, you know. Back then, I was watching a lot of One Man Smoke, a lot of uh, Dagner Pipes. Not even They weren't even Dagner Pipes, and they were just uh, just the Dagners, man. And it gave me an outlet, man, for community that I was needing. And I'll be forever grateful for the, for the Briar and Leaf, because it, it really changed my life. It enriched my life. My life is, is so much better with it. And any, any health risk that comes along with smoking... It's far outweighed with the pleasure of uh, just de-stressing and just relaxing and the, the camaraderie and the, the fellowship that comes with, with piping. I love it, guys. So I'm grateful. I'm very grateful. So what else? Well, in May, we're also, uh, we're also hosting the Cats Fest beard and mustache competition down in San Antonio. Um, CAT stands for Cigar Aficionados Trades and Sales. If you're not a part of that group on Facebook, you need to be. Those are some of the greatest group of guys, man. I'm, I've, I've been knowing some of those guys since the beginning, and they helped me cut my teeth on cigars and pipes. And that's another that's another group, man, that I'm very grateful for. Sto Storm Bowen, brother, you're you're a, you're a true brother, man, and uh, we love you. You know, from my family to yours, we love you, man. And uh, you know, I was given the opportunity to be a part of the the uh, the festival. It's a big deal to me. And uh, man, we're excited uh, for a new company, a year old, to be able to host something like this and be a part of it and be invited. It's it means a lot to me. But. Uh, yeah, guys, that's basically it. Uh, we got the pipes coming up in May. Crow Valley Pipe Company. And uh, we have the festival in May. So I'll keep you updated. You know, uh, let you know what's going on. The evolution. Just uh, remember, guys, life is about evolving and adapting. And, you know, anything you do, if it's going to be successful... You have to evolve, and that's all we're doing. We're just evolving into more products, just things that we love. You know, they're not. It's not products that we don't even, you know, have. It's I'm evolving products from my heart. I guess is what I'm trying to say. I'm I'm, evol I'm, I'm, I'm doing this from my heart. It's it's things that I love, and I want to share it with you. So, thanks, guys. I appreciate you. We love you. Y'all be safe. So we'll bear them out.